Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Let us see what is coming towards you Sagittarius. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is a reading for the Sagittarius sign, please. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Let's look into the recent past. Let's have some energy checked in. And then let's see what else is coming towards you. In love, career, money, and general situation. What is the guided message for the Sagittarius sign, please? Thank you, Sagittarius, for supporting the channel. What is coming towards you? What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? Let us let me just check the camera. You have the Page of Wands. You have the Page of Wands. You have the Queen of Wands. What's the connecting energy between you and the situation in the past is the Six of Wands. Right now, Ace of Cups. The center of the reading is the Ace of Pentacles in here. Your higher self advice to you and the universe encouraging you to have a nine of pentacles. What's coming towards you in the immediate future? Hidden energy is the seven of pentacles in here. The queen of pentacles is also here. And the tower card. Okay. Looks like decision time, Sagittarius. Okay. All right. So... Sagittarius, you're starting the reading with a page of wands. This is a person in the past, okay? This is a person from the past, a situation in the past. It could also be like a, a plan, okay? You have a plan with this page of wands. You plan to see them, you plan to date them, you plan to be with them, you plan to visit them. It could be because this page of wands in here, it looks like a, a scenery. So, like a picture's like a picture in a scenery in here or it could be a metaphor Sagittarius where you're envisioning uh, this plan okay um, the page of wands it's a manifestation you know because next to the page of wands is the amazing queen of wands and this is you this is your energy towards the page of wands so you're envisioning how you would see them how would yeah this is interesting oh my gosh um so there's a past situation um there's a past situation a past person a moment there was a there was a moment that i don't think this is something heartbreaking or i don't think it's very dramatic it's more of if there was something dramatic or if there was something it feels like a manifestation, Sagittarius, you know, with the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands. It feels like a... Okay, let me just... Yeah, the Death card. Okay. You know, it feels like this situation, it has ended. Or this plan, it didn't work out. Or this person, they never replied. Okay. There was something that it did not materialize and energetically Sagittarius you are not giving up but you're not actively chasing or pursuing it you are manifesting it the Queen of Wands so you have an invisible Ace of Wands where it looks like your imagination and vision is what you use to attract this moment okay like there's something in here that you would like to experience this moment you would like to experience this fame you would like to experience this again with this person situation you know because the page of ones I would love to feel this feeling or be in this powerful situation or it could be a plan and I could feel you know with the death card Sagittarius with the death card I could feel that you were so intense in the past like further fast okay 
sorry <laughs> for like long time ago <laughs> um but then you were aware that there are some things that you cannot control and you shifted towards the queen of wands where i wanted i did try and it looks like it wasn't meant for me it hurted me but i'm over it i'm over the chasing and trying and pursuing you're also over with awaiting you're simply just releasing it to the universe if it comes back this is my moment okay because the death card the death card represents that this is something that took place a while ago and you don't think of it every day but if you do you manifest it it's like if i'm given a chance to have a moment with this person this is what i will say what i will do and how i will present myself and how i will action and talk so there's like a visualization that you're doing if i ever have a chance with them and we will date again i'm gonna attract them like the queen of wands i'm gonna show my queen of wands if i'm gonna be given a chance to be interviewed this is what i'm going to do so you're claiming it and practicing it as if it's gonna happen okay and six of wands it will happen now so this is like a manifested event moment date as well like you were manifesting that if i'm given a chance to talk to them to visit this place to have this moment again this is how i'm going to present myself i would be the queen of wands okay and that manifestation through visualizing it and imagining what would you do when it happens again what would you do next time around when it comes around when, when it happens again when it comes around what would you do differently when it it comes back and, and you, you're gonna tell me well if it comes back again this is what I'm going to do and this and that and this you're the Queen of Wands like you're gonna do it in such a Queen of Wands way so the connecting energy is here now the six of wands it will resurface the very person or situation that moment is going to resurface and you're so energetically aligned to that moment because you've been practicing it's like okay i wish to have a date with this person and you're visualizing it you're dreaming it you're manifesting it if i have a date with again with this person this is what i'm going to say this is what i'm going to do well your manifestation is here now six of wands and your energy towards them it's not frustrated it's not overthinking it's not overwhelming it's simply excited and energetically aligned because you've been manifesting it in such a queen of wands way you know some you know sometimes your manifestation puts a pressure like if you're overthinking it, you're manifesting it you're overthinking it when it comes you grab it you know it's like have you ever i'm sure i have predicted a lot i have predicted a lot of sagittarius reading i'm sure i'm intuitively and confidently sure i have predicted a lot because you guys email me and say sunshine you predicted this and it happened so i'm predicting it and are you preparing yourself if it's if it's going to happen so i'm predicting something cool is going to happen are you energetically aligned when it happens okay predictive reading okay so you were predicting that it's going to happen and this is how you're going to act like you practices practices <laughs> you practice what you're going to do when you have a chance again six of wands you will have a chance again and you are prepared you have practiced what you say what you do you are energetically intelligently and passionately aligned with the six of wands okay there's something that you know it's a feeling of before you go to sleep you think of it if i will talk to you again this is what i'm going to do i'm gonna flirt with you i'm gonna do this or i'm gonna be excited if i see you again i'm gonna put makeup if i'm gonna ask you sagittarius right now right now if you're given a chance to this moment that you want to recreate replay how would you act think about it because six of wands it's gonna resurface see it move on it's coming back 
someone, something went away, move on. They're coming back and they're coming back because you're manifesting them. They're coming back not because you followed up or you chased them, but they're simply coming back for you. So how would you, if this was a date, how would you go on a date? If this was an interview, how would you go into the interview? So practice now, Sagittarius. How would you do it? Okay, how would you act? All right, now the second part of the reading, let's do some energy check in. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles in here. It looks like you have many projects. Um, the Ace of Cups, the next three, seven, ten days, two to three weeks from now, Ace of Cups, it's possible that you're falling in love and then you're traveling and then Nine of Pentacles, you're committing yourself to another project. Um, the Nine of Pentacles in here, I don't know, It's it could be, you know, it's possible that the last two to three weeks, two to three months, you don't have time for entertainment. You know, it, sorry, I'm going to repeat it. It's possible, okay, it's possible, Sagittarius, that in the last two to three months, two to three weeks, it's possible that you were so busy, you didn't have time to entertainment, maybe dating, maybe fun, travel, adventure, aspiration. And I've been checking on your energy, energy. Okay, I've been checking on your movement, Sagittarius. Well, it looks like in the last two weeks, okay, in the last two weeks, as soon as we step into July, you could be finding yourself, your schedule free. Okay, as soon as we step into July, I could feel in the ethers that your schedule, your life, it's more at ease or less busier. Okay, so if it's less busier, you're going to accept invitation, you're going to book yourself to this, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, and this and that. Well, right now, I could see like you have this and you have that, and you're planning to do another one don't overbook yourself okay just one at a time okay there's something in here it could also be now i have the financial freedom okay for some of you i have the financial freedom look into your priorities because this is good this is good but it might not be like this in the next couple of you don't overbook yourself the the you know like ace of cups you have the seven of pentacles so for some of you guys you have a new love coming you have a new thing coming and then you're committing yourself to here and then you're committing yourself to here so don't overbook yourself sagittarius yes three of wands look into a realistic and practical ways of connecting to the world connecting to people spending time spending money because there's something a bit overbooked um it could be exhausting for you especially if you just gotten back to a not so busy okay because ace of cups something someone new something or someone new is coming and this will occupy your time and then ace of pentacles you're committing to buy something too and then the nine of pentacles you just bought this you might buy another one so in the next two to three weeks i want you to realistically and practically look into how you're committing to your how you are committing buying and allocating your resources and money calculate it properly don't overbook yourself like don't take food if you cannot chew it okay something is here like you might be overwhelmed with like it's a feeling of I have a free time now I have a money now and you're overwhelmed and you you went on this and this and that so I want you to ground yourself be practical be economical and look into a realistic path or look into your calendar and look into realistically of your commitment or don't overbook yourself in here especially with money and resources because i'm seeing here ace of pentacles you bought this you bought that and you're buying another one or you're committing yourself to something of a project or finances and this is an ace of cups so there's something in your 
energetic flow and schedule and resources that it could be it could be overwhelming or it could um it's like this you know it's a mix of everything this one is nice you would love this but then you're committing yourself with this and then another one so it's a mixed it's a it's it's a lot when it happens like it will call it it will reach full intense that you might not have time for this or this one so don't overbook yourself okay look into three of ones look into the immediate future look at the money schedule what is your priority and also i'm getting like with the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles in here okay you bought this for example you bought a house okay i have money now you bought a house and because you're so busy you don't have time to spend to whatever you bought okay something in here okay you committed to this situation but you committed to in another situation you're so busy to enjoy what you bought or this situation so there's a there's a mixed up of priorities in here something is like overlapping that you're supposed to enjoy that you're supposed to enjoy this but because you're busy again because you commit you couldn't enjoy it okay look into that there's a bit of a mixture of things you want to do or things that you commit or things that you want to buy and this is something exciting the ace of cups you know it's a feeling of it's the first time you have a relationship again and you're over committing yourself with this one prioritize this over this or maybe do this first and go to the ace of cups because there's a mix of something in here yeah jumping into conclusion jumping into one offer to another it will catch up on you all of the things that you're committing or buying it will catch up on you and you will be surprised oh i have so much to pay because the, the 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 expenses it has catch up or you look at your calendar oh i'm i'm fully booked because everything catch up or it could be you thought you can do everything every day and then the the last day it's tiring so avoid overbook over overdoing anything over giving it Sagittarius okay I'm sure you get the message sorry if I keep repeating myself because neither one's jumping and jumping and jumping yes yes I'm coming yes I'm buying it yes I'm doing it and everything catch ups and you're like okay why did I over like stretch yourself okay all righty now what else is coming towards you Sagittarius is that okay from nine you have a seven this is what's coming towards you you know the seven of pentacles it could be a capricorn it could be a taurus it could be a virgo but they've been watching you who is the seven of pentacles in here it's a knight of pentacles it's a four of swords in the next two to three weeks there is three seven ten days two to three weeks could be happening soon but someone is watching you someone is watching you someone is thinking about you and then they change their mind yeah the wheel of fortune like someone okay this is the thing someone is probably going to contact you and then it feels like they have something relevant something special to offer and they will chicken out or somehow they will be disappearing this person will become because their offer you know what's coming towards you is like a knight of pentacles it won't happen but they will return as a queen of pentacles and it's gonna be let's see the queen of pentacles in here oh this is worth taking a risk okay what's the tower card this is sh seven strength card oh nice okay all right so what's coming towards you three seven ten days from now two to three weeks from now sagittarius is that well first of all this company or person or situation they've been observing you looking you up online you've been talking to them negotiating with them they will come you will talk you will negotiate you feel good about this person offer or situation will of fortune but 
they might stop in the middle of wanting you or hiring you or talking to you or working with you whatever it is that they're working on or sharing or planning whether it's career money love friendship in the middle of doing it they will stop I think it's all for the best okay you'll be pissed you will be disappointed I'm seeing the snake in here I'm seeing the snake it's like you are fully invested to them and they suddenly stop. No, I don't want to be, I don't want business. I don't want to see you. I don't want it. Okay. Um, but they will come back. I think, let's see. Why did, okay, three of pentacles, the nine of wands. I think they got scared. The world card, the five of wands. Okay. Look, someone in a personal profession, for some of you, it's personal. It could be. For some of you, it's personal. Could be a friend, could be a lover. It's, it's most likely a lover, but it could, all, it could also be a business. For some of you guys, it feels like romantic. Okay? For some of you, it feels like romantic. But for some of you guys, it also feels like business. So I'm, I'm getting like a half and half in here. So they will, like the situation will rise. Okay? This person's situation will connect with you. Um... They're very inviting, persuasive. They will lay down the cards. They will tell you the offer. They're very transparent. And then they will breadcrumbs. They will show you sign of inconsistency. Okay. Three, nine of wands. But as soon as you kind of detach or like I see you following up five of wands. I see you following up with them. So they're still confident and comfortable that even though they're kind of giving you a bit of inconsistency you're still interested you know and then for some reason you stop completely with the follow-up this is where this person is going to grab the opportunity to not let you go something's gonna happen especially if this is like career money business if this is a lover or friendship they simply, like they had a hesitation. Um, I don't know what you did, what you said. You might have said something or you might have displayed something that they misinterpret. Nobody's perfect. So there was something that they misinterpret. They will stop. They will disconnect for a little while. And then they will realize that they probably overthinking or misinterpret. They will come back strong with the Queen of Pentacles. And when this person, company situation, comes back to you, they will take a risk. And they will give you the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen, the Queen of Pentacles is that it's, it's a bigger offer. It's a bigger offer. The Tower card, you will be shocked because you never expected that they will return. You will negotiate for more. You will be in your full force power, especially if this is business. Well, I have moved on. If you want me, this is what I expect. If this is a lover, they're calling you, calling you, calling you, calling you, calling you. If this is a friend, they're like a dog waiting for your response, your reply. And you're nowhere to be found with the two of swords. Three of swords. Six of wands. You give them a scare. I don't know I could feel that when they come back to you the second time when when this person situation when they become a Queen of Pentacles they get clingy okay if you look at the Queen of Pentacles is so much like plant it looks like this growing plant that's clingy so so they will breadcrumbs or kind of ghost you will slow down you will be disinterested you will be put off you'll move on it's okay they will come back with a foolish heart because you've got the full card in here. Look at that. They're going to take a risk. And the tower card, they're going to they're gonna take a risk. They're going to shake up your moving on like you're moving on. And they're going to shake you up and say, don't move on. And they're very clingy. They're calling you and calling you and calling you and calling you. And then you're going to resurface. And then you let them talk. Okay. You give them a scare seven look at that two three seven so when you were not answering the phone you gave them a fright 
good on you, Sagittarius. <laughs> now they know how to. Um, that the <laughs> now they know your value. They get scared, especially if this is a lover. They get scared. But I still see you resurfacing. Six of Wands. That you know how to play. Um, but eventually, it's gonna be a successful negotiation. They will learn their lesson never to play with you or cross you again. Look at look at the amount of s stress they have. The winner takes it all, and that's you, Sagittarius. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, click the bell, click subscribe. I'll see you soon. You have a great day, Sagittarius. Bye-bye.